This video is titled Introduction to Fractions and we're going to discuss some fraction terminology here. We're going to name the different parts of the fraction 3 over 5. Now when we look at the number at the top of the fraction, in this case 3, we call this the numerator. The number at the bottom, or the 5, is known as the denominator. I have a method for remembering these. I always remember that D for denominator is the same letter that we use for down. So the denominator is the number that is down below the other number. We also have a name for the line or bar between the two numbers. It is called the vinculum bar. Now we're going to look at drawing fractions. If we look at the circle at right, you'll notice that it has been cut into five equal parts. I would really like to emphasize this word equal parts. I'll give you an example of one where they are not cut into equal parts. I have it here at left. Notice that this circle has been cut into five parts, but the parts are not all equal. They're not equal in size. When you draw fractions, your parts have to be cut into equal parts. Anyway, you will notice that our denominator, which is 5, is the same as the number of equal parts that our circle has been cut into. The denominator tells you how many parts it has been cut into. So what does the numerator do? Well, the numerator tells us how many of these parts are to be colored in. So we need to color in three of the parts of this circle. If you imagine a piece of pizza, if you were to eat three over five pieces of pizza, that means that your pizza has been cut into five pieces and that you ate three of them. Anyway, that concludes our video introducing fraction terminology. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.